Can you hear the sound? Are we in Jurassic Park? Can you hear a prehistoric rolling call? It's that time again. The sandhill cranes are here. In October, the birds arrive at the wetlands in the Portland, Vancouver metro area. Let's go closer and learn about why these birds deserve to be protected for the future. Sandhill cranes are the oldest living bird species on the planet and have changed very little in the past two and a half million years. Birds are at a big risk today. Power lines, communication towers, wind turbines, and uncovered oil waste pits kill millions of birds each year. We've been fortunate to have these tall, graceful birds here to lift our spirits. As you can see, there are other species among the cranes. There are thousands of snow geese and hundreds of Canadian geese to be seen. It's the most spectacular sight. This wetland is the winter migration staging area for several hundred sandhill cranes. Corn has been planted here for the birds to feast. They are with us from October to April. After their visit, they go back to nest in the far north, and some go just northeast of here, and some go to nest in Idaho. The 1918 Migratory Bird Treaty Act protected birds from people, yet in some states, unbelievably, this spectacular migratory bird can still be killed for sport. Their survival is our responsibility. When migrating, it is incredible that they can travel up to 400 miles per day when conditions are good. They can fly at altitudes up to 12,000 feet. Have you ever wondered why migratory birds fly hundreds and thousands of miles? Only one reason, to find the best habitats available for breeding and raising their young. Migratory birds do not have built-in GPS units. Instead, they use a variety of navigational aids, the sun, landmarks, stars, and even the Earth's magnetic field. It is simply fascinating to watch them take off in flight, glide back to roost at night, and then stand close to a water area. In case of danger, the water acts as an instant warning system. The birds choose how they sleep and are very careful to ensure they can survive through the night. Birds have so much to teach us. Sandhill cranes typically mate for life. They are very social birds that live in pairs or family groups throughout the year. During migration and in winter, 
Lots of cranes come together to form survival groups that forage and then roost. The two greatest threats to cranes is the destruction of their natural wetland habitats and illegal hunting. They are known for their dancing, which is a symbol of energetic life and deep feelings. It can consist of bowing, jumping, running, stick or grass tossing, and wing stretching. You'll never get enough of it. Cranes are associated with good luck in many native tribes. In other cultures, it can be associated with royalty, balance, grace, and longevity. Seeing a crane is a sign of good things to come. We like watching the birds as they feed with their bills down in the ground or interacting with each other as they're dancing or flying. We also enjoy listening to their wild range of vocalization. Years ago, sandhill cranes were declining across the country, but successful crane conservation has turned the tide. Since October, we visited the wetland many times and we can tell you we've never been disappointed. We were just observing what the birds did and it always amazed us. It was worth coming at 4.30 a.m. and staying with them until after sunset. Our eyes never tired at watching how nature reveals its beauty in Earth's oldest bird species. They always gave us a deep appreciation for life on Earth. As Emerson said, nature is valuable because it is beautiful. <laughs>